Hello, my name is Nathan Bourne. I'm a biomedical scientist and welcome to Pathology. Here we take all your samples and we send them through to our different departments so that we can analyse and give you your results. Right. All your patient samples uh, are brought here into Pathology and they're split into the different sections that are found here. We have uh, microbiology, haematology, transfusion, uh, molecular pathology and cellular pathology and immunology as well. Up into racks of 10, they go on to these analyzers here. Um, so I just put that on. Let's go. They go through the analyzer, they're um, mixed and then analyzed individually, um, and then they come out the other end and we can review them on the PC. Hi, my name is Jenny Philp. I'm a Band 6 biomedical science scientist here at uh, Bournemouth Hospital. I work in haematology. Uh, our main role is processing full blood counts um, and coagulation samples. We have quite a large lab. We have three analyzers that we use to process all our work. Um, it comes in via outpatients and the GPs. Okay, so we, um, once we process full blood count samples, we might look at blood films uh, down the microscope um, and then refer them through our, to our consultants. Of a, a very normal um, count there, an example of one. So the, the core technique we use in microbiology is culture. Um, we typically use these agar plates, and these are basically um, solid media and they contain uh, high nutritional content for bacteria and they are quite happy to grow on these from our samples. So the following day, um, we'll take the cultures out of the incubator and hopefully our samples will have yielded some bacteria to, to uh, test on and so we can identify it. So once we've cultured it, we'll then begin to look at it, try to identify it, see if it is a pathogen or if it isn't a pathogen. And then from that, once we've ID'd it and we've got, it's got a pathogen, we can then use it for testing uh, antibiotics on. So we've been re uh, relying on agar culture for about 150 years now and not much really has really changed in that. Um, but with the technological advancements actually we've moved down a route of looking directly for DNA of bacteria. And what this machine is here is, is a very quick analysis looking for literally DNA of bacteria. And this will give us a result not in 24 hours but in, within hours. And we typically use this for screening for uh, MRSA, C. difficile, norovirus, things like that that are involved in potential control in hospitals. So the idea is that we can take a sample, put it onto this machine by this cartridge, and within an hour we have uh, a, an answer to the question if it's our patient is carrying MRSA or not. And from that we can then um, treat them or isolate them and ensure that no one, they don't pass it on to anyone else. Hi, my name is Stephanie and I'm one of the biomedical scientists in immunology. Uh, we cover the area of Bournemouth, Christchurch, Paul, surrounding GP area and also Dorchester Hospital. We mainly look for allergy testing, so allergens that have caused immune reactions and also autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis, celiac disease, Sjogren's and a multiple of others. Um, so this is our UV microscope and this is what we read all of our slides on. So all the indirect immunofluorescence and direct immunofluorescence is read by a biomedical scientist and we will report our results to the requesters. Hello, my name is Sarah Fernandez and I am a biomedical scientist at the Cell and Pathology Department at the Royal Bournemouth Hospital. So let me talk you through what we do here. So basically, in the histology department, we received all kinds of histology samples, so body tissue samples, and we process them so the end result can be uh, the tissue on a slide that can then be visualized by the pathologist under the microscope, and they can assess the slides and look for cancer and other kind of diseases. So our tissue samples are received in the cut-up room where the pathologists will dissect them and take representative tissue that they want to look after under the microscope. After those sections are taken, then they have to be processed until the final result is obtained, which is the tissue on the slide glass. Our work at least will show you. So basically, those tissue samples that the pathologists took during the cut-up and dissection are put into wax blocks to allow us to cut one cell thick 
sections. That are then floated into the hot water and picked up on a glass slide. In order to be able to see that section under the microscope, you need to give it some color. So we need to stain that section, and the routine stain we use is called amatoxylin eosin like this, where we can then visualize the sample under the microscope. Hello, I'm Rachel Iverson, I'm the lab manager in molecular pathology. So in this department, we have two main work streams, one of which is flow cytometry. So that's to do with investigating the different cells that you might find in a blood sample and we would look for whether those cells had abnormalities and we do that by labelling up the cells with antibodies which have a fluorescent tag on one end and they target specific molecules on the cell surface. So the other work stream in molecular pathology involves looking at nucleic acids, so DNA testing. So we've got some PCRs here, samples ready to go into the machine, so they will be um, analysed for abnormalities at the DNA level, and this can give us information about the particular tumour that's in any patient. Hello, my name is Tamsin Hayden, and I'm a biomedical scientist and section manager in blood transfusion. This is our blood transfusion laboratory. Here we provide blood products for the patients in the hospital. Um, we work very closely with the medical teams to make sure we can provide the correct blood for the patients. We test patients' blood samples for their group and see if they've got any antibodies. And I can show you where our blood footage is at. So here is where we have our blood products. We have blood, FFP and platelets that we keep. I'll just show you our blood stock. So this is where we keep our blood donations and they're available for all patients in the hospital. 